Okay, y'all. So it's time to do a cherry seed update. Um, in the original video, I had two shot glasses of cherry seeds. I think the other one is outside. I can't remember if that's the one I put outside or not. But anyways, I only have one here. And I have these two bags. Um, and then a couple days later, these were on the 29th of January. Then on the 31st, I tried to sow some more seeds. Um, I believe there were, I don't know. And then on February 4th, I sowed a few more seeds. So we're going to check on all of them today. First, let's check on the ones in this bag. So it has this yellow color to it, which means that's not good. Oh my goodness. Look, y'all. Yeah. Ew. They're smushed. So these are done. <laughs> Let's check on these. Those were the ones that were in a very dark place. These were on the windowsill. Okay, what is happening? This one, this one was uh, split in half, so nothing was coming from that. This one looked like it wanted to do something. But it just didn't happen. And this one is split in half. Oh, this one's in half too. So no to those. Let's check in here. So one thing about it is these didn't get any air. So it started to mold which they've been getting this weird green color mold. So let's just, it's like a teal green, not an algae green. So nothing is going on with that one. Oh, nothing is going on with this one. Oh wait, what is this? Oh no, these are, this is half. I was excited. So we can just go ahead and get that out. Oh, there it is. So nothing happening with this one right now either. So I'll leave that uncovered for a little while. So these are the seeds that I sowed um, on the 31st. See again, these got no air, so it's kind of moldy. There might be like 12 seeds in here. I don't remember. Maybe 13? I don't know. Okay, something is happening with this one. This one is huge. The seed was not this big when I put it in there. Oh, it's rotten. Ugh, let me... I had tweezers, I just didn't get them. I forgot. Okay, so one thing that I'm noticing is that these seeds 
will swell up and this little thing will get bigger but because it was kind of broken it's unable to complete the uh, germination process so here's another one that could have been a potential You know what, I'm just going to end up burying these in some dirt outdoors and, you know, add to the soil life. Let's check this. I nicked two of them. I wrote that I nicked two of them. None of these seeds were split. They were completely intact, all whole. None of them split. I took, I'll insert a picture because I took the protective coating off two of them um, and that was me kind of nicking it and then the other three, um, I completely took the coating off. Let's go this one, look at that. Mind you, y'all look, it's sprouting. It's sprouting and molding. So I need to get some air circulating through these ASAP. But it's sprouting. That's fast. That's really fast. Wow. Yeah, these, these sprouted fast. Got one sprouting so far. And then the other two haven't done anything yet. Okay, so I just want to add that this whole technique, uh, as far as like processing the seeds, I I did that within one night, like within a few hours. Um, so I got rid of the pit, which is what you saw me doing in the original video. I was crushing it with a hammer, getting rid of it. Um, then for the first set of seeds, like I showed in the video, I did put them in the freezer. And then I immediately put them in some hot water so I can peel the coating off. For the rest of the seeds, I did not do that. I just put them in hot water or warm warm water. I let them soak and then I proceeded to peel the coating off. Um, and then after that, I put them in some potting mix. Um, I would not use the paper towel method if you are peeling the coating off if you are you know if you were going to actually you know what if you leave the protecting protective coating on then you can use the paper towel method um you can use the paper towel method for if you decide to just leave the pit on as well but that's going to take a very long time i'm not that patient <laughs> um and also, you know, I d although we saw just a little bit of action from those two um, seeds that were split in half, but it kind of looked like it started to sprout. <sighs> you know what? I think that if they, I mean, you could try it. I wouldn't, I mean, this was an experiment um, to see if they, any seed, what could happen with seeds that were split in half. Um, but if they were just split, like completely just not connected at all, I would not use those seeds in the future. Um, if they were still connected a little bit, I would try germinating those just for fun. Um, but I would, of course, keep the seeds as whole as possible and um germinate from that um let's see this is all an experiment um i know what to do in the future so i'm excited for that one seed but 
especially you know I don't know I just really want some cherry trees and now that I got this experiment out the way I can you know be a little more serious about it and um see how things go all right I'm gone for real now thank you all for watching bye